Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about a plugin slash service called Optimal. This is a sponsored video. They did provide the plugin to me. I'm actually, in fact, I'm only using the free version because I wanted to get the free experience first and not the license version, but they're also a sponsor of the WP Minute uh, at the WPMinute.com. So thank you, Optimal, for sponsoring the work we do here at the WP Minute. So let's talk about Optimal and what it can do for you and my overall impressions using it. They might be a sponsor, but they didn't direct me on what to say in this video. Optimal.com. Optimal. So it's a nice play on words. Optimal. Optimal. Anyway, optimal storage, uh, optimal image, storage, compression, and delivery. Basically, what we're doing here with this plugin is you have images, which are probably one of the biggest things that slows down a WordPress website. I don't know about you, but consulting clients who really look at using WordPress as a Word document, right? You can just drag this image that I just took out of my 40 megapixel camera, throw it right onto the page and load it up onto the website. And before you know it, they have pages filled with 30 megabyte uh, JPEGs all across the website. And then they wonder why the images are loading slow or the entire website is loading as slow, especially when it goes to mobile. Optimal at optimal.com will allow you to optimize those images that your users upload. And I say users upload because I really like how Optimal has built the entire setup here um, in a very global kind of multi-website fashion. Uh, let's talk about the pricing. Like I said, you can load it for free on your WordPress website up to a thousand monthly visitors. And then you get into uh, the price plans here. If billed monthly, $22.99 a month, $47 a month, uh, unlimited sites, and then that starter plan starts at 40,000 monthly visits. This is one area of criticism that I have is that I wish there was like a $9 a month, like 100 bucks a year. What can you get me for monthly visits or images compressed? Because I think that uh, the leap from 1,000 free visits a month to 40,000 visits a month there is a lot of small publishers and websites in that in-between. I mean, the margins here are probably <laughs> razor thin, so I get why they're probably starting at the $22.99 a month. Uh, but I'd love to see sort of another layer there would be fantastic. Okay, so you see all of the uh, features that it comes with. I'm not going to uh, rattle them all off here, but basically what we're doing is if you've got a large publication site, you're a, a local newspaper, a local media outlet. You do a lot with images, um, newspapers, magazines, any kind of new age media. You're a prolific blogger and you want to speed up that site as fast as possible for people, not just in your own country, but globally. You're using Optimal's network to one, optimize these images, make them smaller, faster, lighter, and their content delivery network uh, across the web, right? It's going to load off of their servers not your servers. Let's dive in uh, to seeing that all in action. You can get Optimal for free by searching for it in wordpress.org. I was going to record the setup process and it was literally entering in an email address and it activated it. I'm going to overlay this video of it sort of activating and that was it. It plopped me right onto this internal dashboard. It allows you to see what your monthly quota is and right off the, the rip, it goes through and optimizes the images that I had on this site. Uh, I was letting my son play with this. So you're going to see some funky uh, photos that he was playing with. But you can see at the bottom, 87.5%, 88.4%, 88% saved in image size when Optimal went through my site the first time and optimized all the images in the media gallery. This is just a small like testing site. So there wasn't that many images there. Really going to depend on how many images you have to see... Uh, how much it optimizes, but it'll tell you eight optimized, uh, 1.49 megabytes saved, 90% uh, average compression, uh, and there's no traffic to the site, so it doesn't show any of that traffic. But hands down, one of the easiest tools I've ever connected up uh, to a WordPress site, and I do like at the top here, you can refresh stats, disconnect, a very well thought out user interface. The folks at ThemeIsle uh, do a fantastic job, and I'm not just saying that because they're sponsors. I've always uh, enjoyed the work that they've done. Under the settings tab, you can enable optimal image handling on or off by default. 
And basically every time you load up an image to your website, it's gonna throw it back to the optimal service. It's going to optimize it on the optimal service, which we'll take a look at in a moment, and then put it back on your website. I'm sort of dramatizing that a little bit, is that a word? Uh, but it's it sort of does that. And you can go through and enable and disable the features that you see here, scale images, um, enable the optimal badge, which will get you 20,000 more visits uh, per month. And then you can clear the cache. I'm actually gonna save that and see where it puts that badge because I'm not uh, quite sure. And then there's a ton of other advanced features for those of you who running large intricate sites, you're probably gonna be very interested in a lot of the stuff here. Uh, if you're an SEOer, uh, you're gonna probably be very interested in a lot of this stuff like lazy loading, no script tag, uh, a lot of the stuff that it can that it can do. And then you can exclude certain images uh, or file extensions from being optimized. Cloud library, this allows you to connect up your sites and see m multiple sites that you can pull from. And then image storage, you have the options to load your images on both your website and optimal cloud or optimal cloud only. So if you basically wanna save disk space on your hosting, you could also just host this stuff on optimal's cloud only. Let's take a look at that dashboard. This is where I think a lot of the magic happens. Again, super clean, super easy to navigate. A lot of the same stats uh, that we've seen here. But this is the magic. It's taking all those images I've loaded into my WordPress site, thrown them in my cloud account so that I can manage and access them here. And they have this concept of folders, which is associated to, at least right now, just the, the particular website that I connected it up to. Uh, and I would imagine if I'm an agency or uh, a media owner and I have multiple properties on the web, I'd have all my images right here. And I'd like that because, uh, number one, their pricing sort of lends itself to unlimited websites anyway. But it's very, very easy to manage. If you're an agency owner or multi-property media owner, you just have all your image and your assets in one place. And for another key feature, which I'll show you, uh, in a moment. So I really like how they've structured this. Uh, very easy to use. Again, you can go and see your monthly metrics. Uh, I've got no stats to this site, so there's not a lot there. Allow domains, which domains can access the content here. So if you want to easily add in images to another website, you can give them uh, domain access here. And this is a really cool feature. And this is why I like the cloud thing kind of makes sense. If you're a photographer, again, a news outlet, and you need to watermark your images and update with your logos and stuff, you can do that from one place uh, inside your optimal account under the watermark uh, settings. So if we go back to the library, you can see here I've watermarked this one. And you can add that watermark. You can scale it and make it larger. You can change the positioning right in the center, <laughs> if you wanted to. If you're like TMZ and you're using, I'm sure they uh, use a, a, a service like this, you'd wanna use something uh, like the watermark feature. And this allows you to do it all in one place. So you don't have to download the image, run it through a Photoshop and then re-optimize it, send it back up to the website. You can control that all in one place, your brand changes, your watermark changes. You can do that from one place and that'll load it across your entire website without you having to do that. Uh, in a per WordPress instance. One of the things I couldn't get to work here uh, from the dashboard are these settings. These, seems these settings seem really cool, like the filters and the adjustments. So if you wanted to change uh, the contrast and the saturation on an image, I see it changing the URL, um, but it doesn't change the actual image. Let me just get rid of this watermark. No watermark selected. Um, I couldn't get the adjustments to save probably brought that way too low. Uh, I couldn't get this to save per image. And I don't know if there's supposed to be a save button here that pops up, uh, but it's certainly not saving it after I play with those adjustments and reload the page. I'll have to reach out to the team. Oh, did it? No. I'll have to reach out to the team and find out uh, why it doesn't save those settings there. But that would be cool if I could just make those adjustments right here in the dashboard and then have it reflect uh, on the WordPress site. There's nothing super fancy to show you else inside of uh, WordPress because it, it it does all of this stuff behind the scenes. Uh, it's it's quite uh, a passive service. If we add uh, a new image, uh, I'm going to use the image instant images plugin. Let's search for some cars because my son would probably really like that once he looks at this site again. 
And even if we pull in something like this, now Instant Images actually pulls in a, a, a smaller, more compressed version. This is pulling it right from Unsplash. If I was getting it right from Unsplash, it would be super big. It'd probably be like four or five megabytes. Uh, it won't be that large because of the Instant Images plugin. So 191 kilobytes uh, is the size of this image. If we go to a page, let's delete the Porsche and we'll do image, media library, select, update, and now preview this. We'll open the image in a new tab. Right now it's pulling from um, the website. Optimal is working in the background, it's pulling up the image, it's optimizing it on the service, and then it's sending it back uh, and replacing it on, uh, on this website. So what we'll do is we'll refresh, and maybe by now, there it is, already on uh, the Optimal service, you can tell by the URL. So that already changed, it's already been uh, optimized, it's already been uh, loaded into the service, and if we inspect this image, we can see here it was, it's now 40 kilobytes, and I think it was 160. I'll have to rewind the tape and check that out. Uh, it was 160 when we first uploaded it, right? So let's go back. This is gonna be optimized. Oh, 191. Uh, so 191 before it went up to the optimal service, now all the way down to 40 something. Even 191, I'm going to probably get a lot of uh, speed and optimization <laughs> enthusiasts coming after me. I feel like 191 isn't that bad these days, uh, but certainly uh, if you can bring it down to 40, uh, that is a massive savings. And if we go uh, to the optimal dashboard on the SaaS end, we should see that Lamborghini uh, right there. Fantastic stuff. It's going to make your images load super fast better overall experience with your customers or your visitors to your website. Uh, things load snappy. You don't have to worry so much. I spend a lot of time uh, optimizing my images when I'm sending them to my featured image and I'm running them through. Uh, if I'm doing something super quick, again, don't come after me. I'm running it through the preview app on Mac. I'm bringing the JPEG down uh, to like 50% and then I'm exporting there. Something like Optimal, I'm gonna add it to my site. It's gonna speed things up even faster. Uh, and this will work in tandem with your web hosting. You know, you might need to check with your web hosts first um, to see what they have for uh, caching rules or a caching layer or something like that. But Optimal uh, should work uh, fantastically fine with most uh, managed WordPress hosts. And again, you'll have your speedy web hosting and then you'll have images loaded super fast and compressed and optimized throughout the web. Optimal, you can start for free at or in your WordPress website. Just search for Optimal in your plugins, uh, plugin directory, add new plugin. It's gonna be installed already, but we'll type it in anyway. Optimal, there it is, it's already active. 200,000 active installs, five-star reviews, 565 uh, reviews, fantastic plugin. Check it out, optimal.com, try it for free. And if you're a big web publisher, uh, start for a few hundred bucks a year to optimize all of your images. Thanks for watching today's video. Thumbs up if you like the channel. Subscribe if you want more. And don't forget to check out the WPMinute.com.